for another episode of Dinosaur Central and the first episode of season 14. Wow, we're already on season 14. That's crazy. I'm thinking of putting 20 seasons into this series. So, yeah. We're almost done with Dinosaur Central. Just 20 more seasons. I mean, six more seasons until the end, so yeah. Also, there's an error where I said Axel would be the new villain, but I actually met Hawthorne, so I'm very sorry about that. I usually just re-watch the videos to see if there's any errors. And also, Cassidy is actually named Cassie. I'm very sorry about that. But I think I'll stick to Cassidy. I mean, that sounds better. So, uh, yeah, here we go. We start over here at the pond where the Dinosuchus is sleeping. And the pack, including Willow, Glacier, Winter, and Hawthorne, they are all having fun in the pond. Hopefully they can get out of here um, as soon as, um, as soon as the Dinosuchus wakes up. Because it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be cool if they were all eaten. And I know a lot of you wouldn't want Glacier to be eaten. Like he was badly injured last time, but he's not dead, he's still alive. The dinosaurs usually can't drink over here during the day. Well, during um, other parts of the day, but it's noon right now, which is usually when um, the Dinosuchus takes a nap, so they can drink. And if you're wondering why the dinosaurs had to move to the plains, well, it's because an earthquake happened on the other land. So, um, well, where all the canopies and the trees were, and that forever changed, and that, um, and that earthquake forever changed that part of Dinosaur Central. So, yeah. They had to move to the plains. There's still shelter and all, but it's not as good as, um, the old area. Glacier drinks rapidly, and he also knows how to swim, so that's cool. He tells his friend to come and join him. Um... Come and join him. Winter is exhausted from yesterday. They found a whole Brachiosaurus. So, yeah. They had to run down an entire Brachiosaurus, so of course they're all very exhausted. And Willow, she's as common and mellow as ever eating plants. But all of a sudden, just as Glacier is ready, is ready to, is ready to get out, he smells something. It smells like blood and you Tyrannus! <laughs> female Euteranus bleeding on the ground. She is severely injured.
takes her to the pond. <laughs> Eventually she gets up. And she is ready to go. We will name this Uteranus, um, we will name this Uteranus, um, we will name her Frost. So we have Glacier and Frost. And he invites her to become part of this pack. It looks like they're going to mate soon. Well, it looks like nothing else is going to happen over here, so... Let's check up on this Arizonasaurus family. Alright. Far from the river, we have the Arizonasaurus family. Cassidy has finally opened up to the rest of her family. And she is now letting the rest of them see the new baby, Phoenix. The entire Therizinosaurus family is living and happy. They're also very healthy. Mm. Cassidy, Cassidy has never felt this happy in her entire life. And she wonders if Featherclaw was this happy when she had her first baby. Cassidy does not remember all the details of giving birth to Crystal, but she all she does remember is that she was very proud. And she's very proud now of her new baby. <sighs> Axel is pretty tired. So is Crystal. They both decide to lay down while Feather Claw. Jeez, I keep forgetting. I keep. I keep confusing Featherclaw with Cassidy. I'm sorry, guys. Well, Cassidy and Phoenix have a little bit more fun together. interested in the camera. <laughs> but of course, these two get tired as well. And soon, the whole family is The 
going back to the pond. You see, the other dinosaurs are having a lot of fun. But then Hawthorne. Hawthorne has had enough of this. Being as mischievous as he is, he is very ready to go and sneak up on Phoenix and take him here so that he can drown and so Hawthorne can eat him. Again, just like with the egg heist, he sneaks in. He hunts just like a lion. He tries not to breathe as heavily so he can't alert the others. He tries to act like Cassidy to wake the baby up. And it works. But instead of drowning the baby, he decides to kill him right away. Like there's gonna be a fight. All of a sudden, Cassidy builds up all the strength she can. <laughs> and she finishes Hawthorne off. happy that her baby's okay. And in his own dinosaur language, Phoenix tells his mother that he was really scared. And she guides him back to the nest. Thank goodness Axel didn't wake up or that wouldn't have been good. I think we're gonna continue the rest of the series over here at the nest. Well, the rest of the episode over here at the nest. Also the season, the season 13 episode playlist um, came out yesterday. So yeah. <sighs> Cassidy is very proud of her family and her baby. <sighs> you can't really see it on camera, but in Cassidy's, in Cassidy's, um, well, you can't see it on camera, but Cassidy sees a faint glow. 
that actually is in the shape of a Therizinosaurus. She instantly recognizes Feathercloth. She may be invisible, but Cassidy can still smell her and she can hear her as well. And it's in the very faint shape of a Therizinosaurus, the little fuzzy glow. She's invisible on camera, but you can definitely see her. She says goodbye, and she nudges her mate, and her baby, and Crystal, and she goes to sleep. Goodbye, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and make sure to subscribe. Bye!